So to our students out there, I want to quickly tell you that there are ways to learn difficult content, content especially if you're a visual learner or even an auditory learner, because you're still going to be verbalizing things and you're going to be visualizing things at the same time. So you're going to pretend that you have a book in front of you. You're going to close your eyes and breathe. For example, let's talk about dopamine pathways. So there are four dopamine pathways. We have the what? Mesolimbic pathway. We have the mesocortical pathway. We have the tuberal infundibular pathway and we have the negrostriatal pathway. All right. So how do we visualize this? Okay, we're going to visualize by saying, okay, the first thing I want to look at is the mesolimbic pathway. So mesolimbic, I will say, okay, I will take the word limb and say, okay, legs and hands. If I'm running elter skelter in the bush, that means I'm hearing things. So we are adding to normal human experience. That is a positive symptoms. That's what we see in that pathway. That's what we see happen in that pathway due to excess dopamine. What about mesocortical pathway? In that pathway, we lack dopamine. In the cortex, in the head, when we lack dopamine, you lack the chemical that makes you feel good. And therefore, what happens? You're going to be sad and flat. So what do we see in that pathway? We see a logia, an hedonia, a volition, flat affect, right? Now, what about the meso? Uh, okay, we'll talk about the two mesos, mesolimbic and what? Mesocortical. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the negrostriatal pathway, all right? The word negro comes from substantia nigra. Substantia nigra is one of the pairs of basal ganglia. Now, basal ganglia is responsible for movement. Therefore, excess blockade of dopamine, the negrostriatal pathway is going to cause what? It's going to lead to extra pyramidal movements, right? Now, the last one is the tuberal infundibular pathway. We're going to pretend, visualize, that in a tube of a woman, you're going to drop an egg in it. The woman gets pregnant, and guess what happens? She's going to have to secrete prolactin to produce some breast milk. So we're going to also pretend that, okay, excess dopamine in the tuberal infundibular pathway will lead to hyperprolactinemia. Therefore, we're going to have enlarged breasts. Visualization works. But you still have to have the baseline knowledge. You must have learned it and repeat and repeat and repeat. Let me apply visualization to another concept, which is one of my domain one, which is what psychopharmacology. Let's think about drugs and class. Let's talk about a typical and atypical. For example, typical antipsychotic, they mostly end with zines. Zines, Z-I-N-E. Your second generation, they mostly end with what? The duns and the pines. So we are done with the zines that is why we created the duns and the pines and you can think of your second generation sounding like what close the pin or last the pine can you can can you imagine this kind of learning approach you may want to try it if you're struggling and that ends my visualization right there you're going to have to close your eyes and imagine things think about what you've read and try to see it See, the way you see it before you get into that test, and then it's, it's just going to come so real to you too when you get to the test, especially for, for difficult content. You're going to do well, but we look forward to seeing you in our review. We teach really well. We make sure you understand your stuff. You will never, never, never regret this. I promise you. And if nothing happens, if you feel like, okay, I'm not, I, I'm not satisfied with my six weeks. I need extra time. We'll give it to you without having to pay anything extra. In addition to that, after you pass your board exam, we had you into something called the expert group. Now, expert group is a group where students have passed their boards already uh, uh, are, are, are placed so they can continue to network and grow their business and advance in their career so you are not going to be alone. Speaking is Dr. Kende, Elisha, founder of MP Certification Academy. Thank you so much for taking time to listen. We look forward to seeing you in our review. And if you already passed, we look forward to seeing you in our expert group. In addition, Remember to subscribe to our channel and spread the word. Thank you and have a wonderful day.